Honesty, I really, even though I believe it's Chiefs I've gone for, I still don't have full confidence right now uh, in what kind of end result we will determine uh, by the end of this map. But there is no doubting it. Wildcard are still finding their feet, and there's a good opportunity to get involved nice and early. Yeah, there is. Uh, and I think probably for this match, the pressure is so much more on the shoulders of Chiefs because mm. they're a team trying to rise to some solid form, find some more consistency, and they've now got the new org. But Wildcard, on the other hand, they've been trying to deal with this roster change. And for them, stage one is whatever they can make happen, happen. Otherwise, you know, they're just trying to get through the stage as it is. It'd be a shame to, to see the entire stage just go by the wayside, of course, when we've got three stages throughout the year. It does have uh, quite a heavy impact, and they will be required regardless. Both of these teams will be required to uh, pick up the pieces in the next two stages as we are into play day number four now. These results are going to start to impact. Malusium Mute for the final two bands. Any thoughts on the ban phase as a whole, Raven? Yeah, pretty strong ban phase. I feel like Clubhouse is one of those maps where there's a lot of bans that you could take that mm. will have some level of impact. Taking Habana off the board has a level of impact on how you can open hatches. So if you do play the Kaid with the Thatcher ban, the other attacker ban, uh, you will have to rely on Maverick heavily to get hatches open. Habana is usually the other potentially main commodity there, but uh, there's that impact. But also I like the mute ban coming out of Wildcard because something that you do see a lot on Clubhouse is these top four roams for the basement defense. Mute is a really big factor in that. So taking him off the board is just going to make it a bit easier for the roam clear. Mm. All right. Time to get into it. Time to get into the action. Let it all unfold in front of our eyes. We are going down to the basement first. Uh, Pat bringing Shieldy Boy alongside a Valk on Geo, which I do feel has I might actually quickly look back and see what that ban percentage has been so far in Apex South because I feel like we really haven't seen a lot of Valkyrie. There you go. It's been banned six times. That's 50% of our matches uh, up until this playday. So we haven't really seen her used quite a lot. Definitely a huge impact. So I'm very curious to see what Wildcard uh, lean into here. Like you said, without that mute, without a little bit more of the uh, the heavier roam on, on that second floor that we're used to seeing. Attackers are moving out to locate yeah, a bomb. is definitely defeated. proving to be quite a strong operator and an increasing popular band. So it will be interesting to see how Elevate... Uh, sorry, Chiefs, oh my gosh, it's going to take <laughs> It's going to take a while. <laughs> we'll give it to you. We'll give it to you. It's okay. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm curious to see if they'll start to bring potentially an IQ, you know, if this Valkyrie does create an impact for Wildcard here. Uh, I could foresee an IQ having to fit back into this attack lineup. All right, into it now. Chiefs taking early garage control, and I would assume they know that most of those players are, if not all of the players from Wildcard, are turtling on site. Of course, Silex will more than likely be called upon in a huge way toward the end. Now, Pat's already used his C4. I didn't hear it or see it go off, but... That's already one off the board, so 33% of that denial. That's uh, probably going to come down to the late round if Chiefs even allow it to get that far. But they are making some really good timing so far in opening things up. And look, to that point, time management, very critical for attacking this basement site. There is a lot that you have to do, especially when Thatch has been banned and you've got the Kai so up on the board. Uh, it takes a while to get some of these hatches open, in particular Kitchen Hatch. This is uh, a missed opportunity there from Doodle to catch Geo. If he had got that opening pick, that would have been very big for Chiefs off the bat. But regardless, as you said, time management has been decent so far for Chiefs. Yep. Thus far, still waiting on that second hatch to be opened. Obviously, with the Maverick remaining in the pool, it allows them to... Uh, Allows them to, to make short use of that. It's either Habana or Maverick. You don't generally see both, but nice little early cam that's gone. A bit of intel now for Wildcard that they're not going to know of. And that is a really, really dirty drone that is going to cause Wildcard some problems in Modo. Yeah, it's a great drone. And honestly, this is a, a place that you do see players often aggress towards that late round as the execute's about to happen. 
if it's not happening in church, you might see a player try and flank towards the main stairs from that direction. Vincia finally gets the drone as well, so that is going to deny the info, but 40 seconds. Chiefs have got themselves in a decent spot here. Wildcard have not given them any picks, and that's pretty crucial for this defense. Not even really any HP lost on either side. Geo's the only one to take a tickle so far. But again, C4's all but gone here. There's still two smoke baits left on Silex. 20 seconds left. It's enough to deny long term. And with Emo Rin fighting the first kill, they're going to have to go deep here. Chiefs, they do just that. Still, Silex sits at the back of sight, vast watching the cross. This is going to go down right now. They still have the vertical control, and this should be Chiefs every day of the week, Raven. Should be, but oh, that was a Sharp shot from Geo into uh, he's gonna try and push up vertical. Vast does see his feet as he progresses. Wish the shots though, so that gives Vincia a chance to get up in towards kitchen manic. Maybe a chance to bring this back and he finds worthy. It's all what? a fast, but that is it. Vincia with the double enables this clutch for wildcard. Wow, that is absolutely massive for Wildcard to bring that round back. A three versus two, vertical control established. It all started with Geo's cheeky little peek from Dirt to wipe the face off of one of the Chiefs members. And it just seemed to snowball from there, I guess. You know, when push comes to shove, you really would want Vast holding that, that firm line or at the very least allowing uh, Chiefs that... Uh, rather, yeah, sorry, it was Chiefs. Chiefs that time to... Uh, readjust on site, but my oh my, Vinny putting in some god tier work in round number one, and they will move forward to cash and CCTV. Because it was a good attack from Chiefs, as we said a little bit. You know, they had good time management. They weren't able to find some opening picks, but their execute was beautiful. They traded to get the site, and they got the plant down. It was well covered in that instance. But yeah, unfortunately, they weren't covering the retake very well. Uh, it does fall into Vast, man. I mean, he was the one holding the main stairs. That was just such a crucial engagement. And not only did Vinny slip by in the end, uh, there was no pursuit from Vast. So Vinny just went into Kitchen, got worthy, and it was GG from that point on. So yeah, look, unfortunate round for Chiefs because that definitely seems like an attack in the bag for them. But Wildcard, what a beautiful retake. It's all too good. It definitely puts them in the right stead for this matchup. Maybe Dev's got something. Dev's got some weight to that uh, prediction after all. But again, it's just round one. We can put that one in the books. Maybe some new org jitters for the X Elevate. New Chiefs lineup. I'm sure there's a fair bit of pressure that comes along with this kind of a, a change, especially mid season. And. Vinny just <laughs> more than happy to show a little bit of face early on for Chiefs just to be uh, a little bit more honest in their approach. Yep, a little bit. Fisher guy not going to take too long to get to work on this kennel's wall. Very crucial part of uh, the attack is getting this wall open because it's such a big line of sight through the bomb site for that matter. So you can stop your opponent rotating around. Really sets up the plan. So not doing this step is really setting you up to fail. Great to see them getting this done in the first minute. That's a little bit unfortunate from Silex. That smoke babe comes off and it's just not close enough for him to be able to uh, really push the Maverick off the line for a little bit longer. So within the minute mark, they already have the kennel's wall open. Not only that, it's going to put a little bit more pressure onto that player in garage there, Vinny. And likely you may see Worthy even open up that reinforced wall. And I wonder where that is coming from. So pressure from Garage regardless. Nicely done from Pat just to deny that vault through on the right hand side. So again, whatever time they can waste here, it'll be much needed. Absolutely, because you know what? 90 seconds in, feels like Chiefs have done, again, you know, pretty good time management, getting Kennel's Wall open, they've put pressure through Garage. There's an engagement very close to happening here in storage. Mm. Pat and Emo are in, potentially going to get swing on here, but no, Pat will eat a little bit. Still no frags. Oh, there we go. There's the <laughs> bank account open right as the devil speaks. Emo Rin, once again, to open up. First checking account. Digital needs to be careful. Pushes in deep, finds one, swings onto Emo Rin. Excellent trading from the Chiefs there. The buddy system working perfectly from God Legion swinging. And now Vinny, he's getting a little bit antsy here. He is going to be in quite the awkward spot had it not have been for Geo. Now there is no pressure on Kennels and there's just two players left, both of which are in Garage. Yeah. 
now. Yep, and uh, look at these magnets being a total pain for the Chiefs here, but they're just going to send them up red stairs. Worthy gets the opening pick there. That's big. That's the smoke player. They're now in close proximity to site here, Manic. Geo under fire. It's going to be on the shoulders of Vincere, but wow. he can't do it. Worthy closes it out, and that was a great end to that round for Chiefs. That looked like Geo trying to go for a C4 there and getting caught just falling back behind Con. Don't know where it was thrown, so maybe it wouldn't have had the biggest impact uh, in the end. But regardless, that is much, much better from Chiefs. And it's something that we really want to be looking at uh, as a whole for them moving forward is how quickly they can bounce back from rounds. I mean, it would be easy to say that you'd be pretty tilted in that circumstance in the first round when you had uh, what we would predict to be pretty much everything going for you. You know, there was no real denial left for the plant. And, Still managed to crumble at the wayside. Now we will go across to gym and bedroom. And just obviously one thing you want to note very early, there is no wall denial. Attackers need yeah. to locate big things to note, many absolutely, because uh, there's a, a big crucial wall that you usually defend here. It's that jacuzzi wall that you see them meeting right now. And maybe there will be other ways that they try and deny this. You could impact trick if they use the ace, for example. You can only do that so much, though. They've got the Maverick on the board, so there's going to be a lot of versatility, as well as the Kennel's Wall. That's not going to be denied, so that'll be open easily. Potentially an oversight here from Wildcard, but look, I'm curious. I'm open to see how this strat works out. They brought the Frost instead. Love to see some Frost picks. So, could catch Chiefs off guard, you never know. Looks at where they are. Oh, well, that's not going to catch anyone off. They have spotted Emo Rin in the drone phase. That was Fisho guy's drone just in behind the TVs of CCTV. So uh, they're going to know pretty early on that there's not going to be free real estate. However, I mean, it, I'm really curious to see, do, do Chiefs just go for these openings nice and quick? Because that would seriously put the pressure uh, quite heavily on wildcard early on. So they are opting for... A hell of a lot of holograms here in cash. So what they decide to do there, I'm super curious, honestly. Look, it actually can be a real pain if you're trying to swing to try and push this player out in cash and you're constantly having to, you know, reassess what you're looking at, whether it's a Prisma or whether it's the actual alibi. Uh, it's a pain, you know. Also, you naturally pre-fire everything, even if you drone that out. It's going to be hard to not pre-fire it as you try and push through. If anything, it's just going to be more of an annoyance. Um, and I think that's probably what they're aiming for. That's a... Oh, that opening pick from Vars. He catches Vinny just down in the basement, Manny. It is a big kill to start with. Vinny is, you know, an extremely strong fragger when it comes to wildcard. And him going down early, I'm going to say it spells disaster, but it's definitely going to be something they need to be cautious of. Geo now... He's getting pushed from all different angles. All he's got is Silex and Gash here. The nades come over the top. They still have a little bit of support, but Worthy will be able to catch him on the inside. And now Silex is left to hold Gash, and it looks like he may just double down here and try to do so. Such a good flush out there from Chiefs, really. And Wildcard are left reeling in this 5v2, but that's a nice <laughs> vert pick. Oh no, it's actually from Bart. All of a sudden, 3v1. Vast has been down, so 2v1 might be salvaged. All on the shoulders of Imarin. He is that Frost player. Sometimes not the greatest gun to deal with, but hey, he can be pretty sharp. He might be popping the heads. That's the thing. Maybe not the, the greatest operator, but it's by all means one of the greatest players for Wildcard, especially in stage two here. Uh, sorry, stage one of Apex South. And Emo Rin, he'll actually have a, a decent position maybe to find a couple of 1v1s should Chiefs give it to them. They need to do their due diligence here. Very cautious on the shoulder peak and a lot of information right now as Vast will just completely delete him from the server. Chiefs with a really strong attack and probably not the round wildcard we're looking for whatsoever. Yeah, look, probably not. Uh, really hurt them to not have any form of wall denial. Like, the Chiefs did not have to work hard to put pressure where it mattered. In fact, I don't even think they really went for Jacuzzi wall. In the mm. end, they just got CCTV open, and they just hard flushed those positions out. They did it so effectively, but they also had a lot of time to do so. Mm. Uh, so not sure whether that was what Wildcard were playing to do or not, but regardless, this has been a great showing from the Chiefs at the start here. The scoreboard says 2-1, but... 
let's just remind you, round one, that was a post plant scenario that Chiefs really botched. This really could be 3 0 right now on an attack yeah. half for Clubhouse. Uh, so they, as far as I'm concerned, I feel like they're really showing up in their first game as Chiefs. Mm. It's good science. Good early science. I think one thing that is definitely being highlighted uh, on this first attack, or in, sorry, in this first half, is just that lack of mute is making things so difficult for the defensive side. There's just so much free real estate that Chiefs can go for here with the, the early drone placement. You know, they're not even worried about that upstairs attack. And uh, for instance, in that round there specifically, you know, like, <laughs> All it takes is a couple of drones and CCTV to see really the, the setup that Wildcard are looking for. And I mean, I'm not going to say it's, it's easy, but it's a lot uh, It's a lot easier to be able to pick it to pieces when you know well, uh, sorry, when you can see well ahead of where you're actually attacking. So I, I honestly think this mute is, this mute ban is going to cause so many problems uh, for the rest of this half. <laughs> I am really, really looking to what Chiefs do to change this uh, when we do rotate. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see, but Church Arsenal, I'll tell you what, if there is a site that you're going to be winning in your defense half, it mm. should be this one. Wildcard scraped through in round one, so if Chiefs can secure this, I'll definitely be sitting pretty. Great job spotting out those Valkyrie cans with the drones as well, so they haven't had to rotate in that IQ, which hasn't disturbed their attack lineup and honestly what they've got right now is you know the, a pretty stock standard lineup that you would take for church defense you want a lot of verticality so you've got that triple buck in the sledge but you also want that extra level of hard breach so they've got both of those for the ace and the maverick so fears is very versatile overall so with the chiefs have been able to stick that see whether it works out there's also one more valcam in uh, kitchen there so i'm sure digital may well go to work on it as well and <laughs> but just having some troubles finding the default cam, no worries. We'll get there in the end. I think after this many years, it'd be almost second nature, but it's, uh, again, a, a thing of time management here. Chiefs, uh, I'd say the how decently uh, so far as now they're looking to open up that kitchen hatch too. Yeah, again, just... Good teamwork to, to clear the utility, and they're going to be able to get this open straight away with these Selmers. Where they're going straight to work on that, and they're going to have over a minute with this solid kitchen presence. Their flush wildcard completely out of that end of Arsenal, at least. You saw a player book it down dirt, and another one playing over near dummies. So, look, this is uh, this is looking good so far. Don't forget that player in dirt was somewhat of a linchpin in the retake in the previous round in round one. So. Uh, will history repeat itself? I don't know. It is Silex this time. They only have one C4 left on Pat with the three smoke babes for Silex. So with 35 seconds left, there's a lot still to do here for Chiefs. There is a lot. And they're going to have to be careful on this drop down to site because they haven't found those picks. Just like round one, they're still getting lit up. But again, they're leaving this very late here, Manic. So it's going to make this execute pretty hectic. <laughs> Well, one for one, they're going to have to hope they hit their trades here. They will be able to get to the back of sight, but Geo this time doesn't fall. And that is a strong hold from Wildcard. Fisho guy left to try and clean things up. In fact, it's only Vast. My word. That, I, you're not even going to get words out fast enough to talk about what's happened there. But when push comes to shove, just nowhere near enough time for Chiefs to make that work. Yeah, honestly, I just don't even, I wouldn't even say time. I just think they didn't do enough else. Like, the, there was nothing to, to stop Wildcard sitting back and just popping them as they dropped. And I mean, it didn't work out as well in round one. But you saw in that round, like, why would Wildcard need to do anything else when they were so comfortable? Uh, you know, no blue presence from Chiefs mm. means that that dummies player doesn't have to worry about their back. They're sitting behind a tall box with a shield on it, so they don't even have to worry about the hatch player. Um, yeah, I don't know. Chiefs maybe just, while efficient, not quite getting enough control. So Wildcard just didn't destabilize their structure. Is that the new call out for it? Just Tallbox? Because... Uh, I guess you could call it Tallbox. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even... I, I've just been calling it Stack. I don't even know. I, I think I'm just making up words here to try and help myself. <laughs> but I'm going to trust Raven on this one. 
Because I genuinely, I have nada, no clue. Well, it's a new addition, right, from Clubhouse. Yeah. That, that box never used to be as tall as it is right now. It used to have yeah. such a deep line of sight from Hatch. Um, but yeah, recent patch, it's taller. So mm. <laughs> it's, it just makes sense, right? It makes sense. Uh, so once again, not opting here for any wall denial. Uh, what have we got for? Look at the Kaid. Oh, they do. Sorry. So I don't. Okay. Okay. Do you want to know what the worst part is? I was looking at the Chiefs lineup and didn't even look at Wildcard's lineup. Who is the defensive side? My goodness. <laughs> Early start, early start here, Raven. It's all good things. <laughs> oh yes, but no, they've got the uh, they got the Kai this time. But it's not going to matter too much for the CC cash, you know, because regardless, you'll just maverick this ball open as we saw Fisher guy do last time, very efficiently at that, and then that's going to pretty much negate the the most important part with the ball denial. <laughs> So it's really about what they do after this and what how Wild Cup react to it after this because what happened last time is they they traded picks but they didn't stop that red stage oh. from the, the remaining two players. I love the cheek on that from Emo Rin. I was really wondering what the vertical lines were going to be and it looked like Emo Rin may have contested or at least tried to uh, on the Fisho guy opening things up. The Fisho guy just too gnarly on the Maverick apparently. And now he will rotate back to site. And that, I believe, is an electric claw in the pocket that he's taken off of the garage wall. So what their decision is here, we'll wait and see. Yeah, say he's going to use it on cash. Yeah, he's going to chuck it on the cash wall. So it just means that it's it's not a freebie when they rotate to construction, which is what they're somewhat doing right now, at least. Got Vast and Worthy over in that direction. And Worthy was probably thinking, hey, I'm just going to go open this straight away. But now it's electrified, so they're going to have to deal with that to turn it out and either take it from below or use this frag grenade. However that goes. It might have gone too far though, actually, Manic. No, it gets it. So now they can open this wall. And again, good time management from Chiefs. They're going to have over a minute with a lot open. That would have had to have been a pixel or two okay, off. So once again, it is going to... Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk about the timing of Chiefs. And it always seems like, you know, by the, by the two-minute mark, they have most of what they're looking for achieved and then it just seems to kind of crumble slowly but surely they still have all their flank drones in place so there is a bit of information they'll be able to go off however what they do with that is completely different i think that's the thing is they need to find some picks they need to get some pressure onto the defense so while they've got line of sights opened Wildcard is not playing the game of giving anything else away. They are sitting back in some comfortable positions. And the Chiefs need to do something, and there it is on the back of Vast. He gets Pat for this opening pick. Oh, and now God Legion's going to pinch as well. How good's that? But nice quick trade from Vinny. We've seen him here a couple of times. A dangerous position. That plant is safe, however. Worthy swings across to try to support that plant, ensuring that it's going to go down successfully. And it all crumbles into a one-on-three. But Emo is being picked up, so there is still a chance here. Definitely still a chance. Emo and Geo, both very strong clutch players for wildcard, but they're not going to have much time left. 24 seconds, C4 misses the mark. And the Chiefs players, Manic, they are playing very spread out patient positions here. Ah, oh, my goodness. This is... This was almost a clinical round from the Chiefs, and Emo trying to claw something back, but Worthy will be the last hurdle. The last hurdle he cannot get over. So, a really nice start. 3-2. Uh, this is looking a lot better since that first round. It's just kind of gotten uh, more dangerous, if you will, for the Chiefs. Yeah, it's looking good. If Chiefs can get a 4-2 half here, they should be very happy with themselves. Uh, on the other hand, you know, I feel like Wildcard really need to salvage this half to be a 3-3. By all rights, I don't think defense should really be struggling right now. In terms of, you know, looking at the bands, I wouldn't be saying, oh, that heavily favors attack. So for sure, attack should be excelling. Uh, so I, if I'm Chiefs, I'm happy with this already. Yeah. But they really are in a good position to be able to get a 4 2 half, which sets them up for a good opportunity to take the map, honestly. Hmm. When they swap, I am, uh, I'd be curious to see if Chiefs are looking to play for a roam because it's been quite obvious that Wildcard haven't played as heavy into uh, the roam. I think we've seen Vinny a couple of times down in basement for 
Uh, I think one of them was a gym defense, and outside of that, you know, Emo Rin kind of just lurking around in the lounge, just being supportive to whoever is in garage at that point. But we haven't really seen the full extent of it. I mean, that that cash extension from Jim, which is just oh so typical. But whether they will le look to lean into it or not, maybe another uh, another thing altogether. Let's have a look at this last round of the half here, wild card. Like you said, I would, I, you would be pretty happy if you were Chiefs, but still, you don't want to give wild card a 3-3 half, regardless of the form or the players that are currently uh, locked in here. I think especially because of the two rounds that wild card won, uh, at least one of them totally should have been a Chiefs round or could have been a Chiefs round. Mm. So given that you could have been looking at, uh, let's say like a 5-1 half, you want to you want to capitalize on that. You, know, you mm. want to bank those points when you feel like you've got that momentum. So yeah, for Chiefs, if they don't get the 4-2 uh, the half, it would feel like they've missed opportunity, but hey, they've got to, got to make it count when it needs to be counted. Yeah. Here we go. This is the line I wanted to see last time, but Emo Rin doesn't look like he's going to get that. Oh, cheeky just to at least give them more time to open things up. But in the meantime, Pat goes down. There go your magnets. Don't know how many were out in place. But regardless, this is not looking great again for Wildcard. Emo Rin not being allowed to push in. Geo manages to find the kill. Concussed as well. But how much longer will he live? That's the question. It looks like he's gotten out of there safe and sound. So they have evened out the odds 4-4. Yeah, I was a bit surprised that Chiefs decided to hard contest that lounge position so early. It didn't necessarily need to happen, but anyway, is what it is. <laughs> Emo is still being elusive down here in storage. He may just decide to run out on Fisher guy here. No, Fisher's going to go upside down. He's actually going to catch Emo Rin off guard. So that has worked out and it does give Chiefs that man advantage. And that is extended <laughs> by Vars here. Yeah, this is looking like it might be that Chiefs 4-2 half. Well, it's, you know, it's a, a somber truth they're going to have to look at now. It's going to require Silex and Vinny to go off significantly here. Silex could delay enough time to maybe allow Vinny into a position. I'm just going to stop talking now because <laughs> a really, a one versus four, Vinny, you hit some really gnarly shots, but this surely is not going to be possible. It's going to be tough. That is for sure. Chiefs have 40 seconds to rotate around and try make it happen. Where is Diffuser? Can they get it on site to plant? This is the other thing is they're trying to just ensure that Vinny doesn't rotate to a position to make something happen, but it's not <laughs> going to be happening. Vast will ensure that, and the Chiefs do bank that 4-2 half on attack. That is a great start if you're under a new roster, if you're under a new banner. A 4-2 first half against the former best team in the region. By region, I don't mean Apex South. I do definitely mean the Oceanic region. But we're going to see the Chiefs default down to Church. They do bring the Vigil, but I wonder if that's just a little bit of a, a gamble to, to show face, maybe take Wildcard off an operator here. Okay, so there we go. It's actually digital that six picks. Yeah, interesting. I mean, it could be, could be trying to bait them into thinking that maybe they're going to a different site, not showing mm. the Kaid as well as showing the Vigil. Maybe just makes them think that attackers need to because you can only six pick one of them, right? So you're either going to yeah. bring wall denial and the Kaid, or you're going to get rid of the, the Vigil. I don't know, but regardless, just a little bit of baiting, I guess, happening from the side of Chiefs. Mm. They are going to go down to Church Arsenal to start off with. Um, and look, I I was really going to highlight this. Uh, because I only noticed it at the end of the half. A man, Pat, is uh, on the doughy still, on the donut 005. He has really, really struggled to get in the game. Yeah. And he was on ops like Goyo, Wamai. He had one round of smoke, but yeah, couldn't find anything. And in fact, the last two rounds of that half, he was actually the opening death. Five so, wow. I think a bit of an uncharacteristic, rusty game. And, uh, you know, let's let's lean into uncharacteristic because Geo has not had the greatest start to APAC South. Uh, when we look at a, a Geo performance in recent leagues last year, 
He has been a standout player for Wildcard, whereas he has been missing here in APAC South, but not today. Today, this is the Geo of all. This is the Geo that we've always expected to see. And so far, I would say holding a little bit of Pat's weight, but still, you can only be as strong as your weakest link. And I know kills are never the, you know, the sound proof to go off, but definitely want to see Pat get into this game early here in the second half. Otherwise, Chiefs may just run away with this. Now we are seeing Worthy using this vigil to effect here, roaming around. Uh, but it looks like he's keen to just drop back. So really, it's just about, I guess, baiting, uh, baiting a roam clear. But this is a great pick on the IQ. He's actually going to see the vigil player rotate back to site because mm. you can spot those electronic gadgets as it's activated. And that is the roam clear effectively done. They yep. know that vigil is on site now. There's always going to be the chance for it, but wildcard, they have gone from top down. They'll know they have this control and they can start to work on their objectives. Around half the round spent, though, yeah. so I mean... Maybe that's a win for the Chiefs just, you know, maybe they've just shaved a beautiful 10, 15 seconds off where it could come back to bite wildcard in the execute. I probably would lean into it, in all honesty. It's not it's not bad at all for, you know, Worthy who manages to fall away and still has, of course, an impact in the pocket. So should they look to use uh, the Selma charges of Pat to open up Kitchen, they will still have enough, but... It's going to come down to the wire because with the minute mark left, they still haven't got the kitchen hatch open. Nor do they have a lot of the vertical lines that we generally see, and now we're going to see them going to town. The yeah, Arv. <laughs> Worthy just copped a bit of those skeleton key shells in the back there, just trying to hold a, uh, a nice little angle. He does have an impact in the pocket, so probably looking to use that on the hatch. But given those 45 seconds, even as soon as this hatch goes open, Wildcard really not giving themselves a whole lot of time for this execute. It's going to be a little bit hectic, a little bit messy. Here it is. Worthy goes in and does hit the impact. So 30 seconds now, Mannequin. Man, I just I feel like Chiefs are setting themselves up for a pretty good defense round win. Well, Vinny has dropped into Moto quite early here, so they have a little bit of that main hall control. Worthy still being an absolute menace here with 15 seconds left. Do Wildcard have enough in the bank? It looks like Chiefs are going to hold strong. Vinny, with just a lick of HP, has to make his way in from Moto. They're all isolated here, but Pat, he's going to stick it. They still have the vertical control here. If Silex can hold for a moment longer, it may have been possible. But in a one versus three, Pat stuck at the back of Arsenal. Oh, and hits a nice shot on the God Legion. It's not enough, though. Back down main stairs, Digital will find him. And that will be a fifth round on the board for Chiefs and a great start to the second half. Defenders have disabled the bomb. Yeah, that it will. It did get a little bit Defenders messy. Win. I thought that there might have been just a very small chance that post plant was secured for wild card, but no, she's brought it back. And look, it's hard to say whether that really came back to the vigil just wasting a little bit of extra time or maybe wild card. You know, this kind of attack basement on Clubhouse, it will expose if there is some, some difficulties with your synergy and because of their roster change of bringing Silex in. I know they have been struggling to get some solid practice in with Silex. So not having dry run to this a lot, it, it can really be exposed in officials. I don't know whether it's all that or not, but regardless, it was really a late last ditch effort from Wildcard. Mm. <laughs> Come on, Worthy, are you picking Valk or not? Make your <laughs> damn mind up. Well, the mirror has been shown. Valkyrie will be picked, fortunately enough, for Wildcard. It looks like they're going to stick the IQ okay, from the previous round. So, obviously, very much looking for the intel uh, to shut down a lot of what Chiefs are trying to achieve here. But in terms of the Chiefs, eh, it's no different to what we saw from Wildcard on their defensive side, at least in terms of operator picks on this side. Just let me clarify, on this side. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. Uh, but no, I think that was a, a bait attempt to get the IQ 6 picks because of the attack lineup, you know, that is the role that is the most expendable right now. So if you were to 6 pick for something else to, let's say, deal with the mirror, if you decided, simplistic sake, let's say you tried to bring a Twitch to deal with the mirror, you probably would have 6 picked the IQ. That obviously works out in the favor of the Valkyrie. Um, but it didn't work out in this instance. You can see we'll have the scanners to try and find these cameras. Um, and also, look, my man Pat, he got a kill last round, so I'm happy. <laughs> We're cheering for him. 
It's from the donut to the baguette. It's better than nothing. And a small bit of confidence back into the hand. You never know. It could steam out of control. The Chiefs, I mean, talking of, you know, confidence and, and looking the looking the goods. Their first game under the new banner, they would be feeling really, really comfortable and happy with themselves on this. So they will want to close this out with little to no stress. Oh, are they looking to contest there? Well, digital. <laughs> Settle down. Still very keen to try and get something cheeky happen here. <laughs> and uh, Silex is really struggling with the wall at the moment. Digital is going to take a bullet. Just for trying to be cheeky. Fast is now on the attempt. <laughs> Silex is getting tagged up. He's almost half HP. And Wildcard is struggling with this kennel's wall right now. I think it's finally soft. Didn't quite see. Yes, it is. There we go. On the money. On the money. So at least they have something to work with there. Two magnets just above the kennel's wall as well on the inside. So the projectiles decide to go in. I'm sure Pat will probably look to use some cover on this wall uh, over by construction. They still need to get rid of anything. Oh Ooh. my goodness. Worthy popping off with 10 and 3 with a cheeky C4 in the eighth round. And from what I'm aware, was that all the Selma charges gone? Uh, yeah, I mean, they're definitely not getting the construction wall open. Oh, Gia with a nice shot onto God Legion, but this is gonna come down to Silex's efficiency here. He does have enough gas to trick this wall. It's definitely possible. <laughs> oh my God, he almost came face to face with Fisher guy. Gets away just in time. He's actually just gonna try and make a, uh, a crouch rotate, it looks like. Oh, Emo Rin, was that from... Oh, hello, there you go. Vinny's just ran straight into CCTV from the window. And that's how you pull the round to pieces. Worthy now, gonna have to claw this one back. Don't give him ones. Do not go peeking him one at a time. He's got the rotate to find it. Vinny was isolated. It could have worked, but it doesn't. And that is Wildcard clawing that round back. It definitely looked like it was in favor of Chase there for a long time. Uh, for real, it did, man. I was really on the back of Vinny. Uh, once they got a, an opening pick, or not an opening pick, sorry. Once they got a pick through cash, Vinny just said, you know what? Like, I'm going to send it through CC window because there was no one watching the jump in from cash long. And the person that was playing rafters was locked down from the balcony, so they couldn't watch the window jump in. And yeah, Vinny took the opportunity. He's like, I'm just going to swing on all these guys. Mm. I didn't count how many he got. It was a 3 or 4K in the end. Um, but my word, very impactful. It did change the tide of that round. Yep. And that's, uh, yeah, props to Wildcard. Now, Chiefs, they are definitely going to need to brush that one off. Once again, showing a cheeky little mirror, six picking off Attackers of. Need to locate and and many nothing bombs. really changing here for Wildcard. Once again, hard sticking the IQ. I mean, if that's what's needed, it may, it may just be. We never know. Now... Are Chiefs going to extend to Cash CCTV here? That's the big question. We saw Wildcard definitely lean into that early, and at the very least, I feel I feel like you almost have to to a, to, uh, to delay the time of Wildcard. I don't really think you can just go leaving this side of the map free. It would just be far. It would just constrict far too much too early. Yeah, you've really got to these days. It's not even just about the time delay that trying to do this side is, it's also about forcing your opponents to use some utility. They've got to use their hard reach utility to clear this side. And uh, they can't really use it as well on Jacuzzi, or maybe they have to dedicate more to this side. It just makes you have to think about how you spend those resources. Yeah. And the fact that Chiefs have actually got hard reach this time, as opposed to what Wildcard did on their defense, uh, again, it really just plays more into that resource equation of where you're spending it, what you try and focus on, where is the time going as well as those gadgets. Oh, that looks, that sounds like digital was too late on that jacuzzi wall and that he was. So that is a huge hindrance for Chiefs early on. And Silex is wasting no time either. So right now, my goodness, Wildcard would be incredibly happy with the progress they've made. Yeah, this is quite good progress. It does put that extra pressure on Chiefs. They're going to have to think about that Jacuzzi balcony. 
it looks like it is a vaultable hold. Didn't quite see whether it's just line of sight or vaultable, but regardless, it can be used against the defense. So yeah, look, this is a, a great start to this attack from Wildcard. Now comes the tricky part. They've got these line of sights open. They've made some progress, but they need to clear out Vast and Gold Legion. A lot of utility being used here, but Emo Rin manages to pence as he pushes through CCTV. Vast, is he even going to be good for one here? Just hear the ADS come back online, so it's going to waste a little bit more, but a second swing in nearly exactly the same fashion from Emo Rin. This is what we have seen time and time again from him so far. Oh my god! <laughs> what is going on? Emo Rin going off. The swings are just too nasty and yeah, too hot to handle off. for the Chiefs. Uh, Emo Rin has just decided to turn on his, like, his laser beam heat seeking machine, man. He just like sees somebody and he's like, okay, I'm gonna swing. All right, gonna swing. That was three wide swings that he just absolutely nailed. Now, Digital has a big target on his back right now, and yeah, look, it's gonna be hard to get five of them. Wildcard will close that out, and they've closed the gap, Manic. 5 4 is the scoreline. Wow. This is really slipping from Chiefs here. It looked so good on their attacking half, and I guess maybe this is leaning into how hard it's been for the attacking side. So far, the proof is in the pudding, Raven. And Chiefs have their work cut out for them. I'm sure, I mean, we'd be used to seeing that from Wildcard. You know, it's not an easy game, but as of late, they have really started to turn the tides here. And the castle, <laughs> there we go, six picked. Oh, no, come on, Worthy, stop doing it to me. But there we go, a little bit of bandit in your life. That'll make things a little bit more difficult for Defenders wild card for now. By attackers. So Chiefs have to dig deep and just uh, try and stunt some momentum. Uh, looking at patterns here, you know, this is exactly how the first half went. We had defense winning their church arsenal and then losing the subsequent sites of Cash CC and G Bedroom. So very much replicating the first half here, which is how Wildcard have come back into favor. Uh, if history repeats itself, then we would be, of course, facing an overtime scenario, which uh, Chiefs, given they've got the upper hand early, would not be too happy about. So this is their chance to secure uh, one point, if you want to call it that, because they'll be going to six, which, of course, in the overtime rules now, means to secure at least one point. But yeah. I think the Chiefs, given the way they've played and the, the lead that they had built, they would certainly be hunting for three points. Something that is well needed for both of these rosters. I mean, there's no denying right now they're not off to the greatest start here in Apex South. I think it's so far only wildcard with the, the three points clear of the win. Chiefs obviously being able to gain two points from their uh, overtime win. But, and that was against 7th Heaven, just to clarify, but it really just has not been the first three play days that we may have expected. Uh, well before, I would say a week before, maybe as things started to get a little bit closer, it was looking a little bit more dangerous and deadly. Wildcard doing their full due diligence here with a top-down clear, just to make sure you can never be too cautious. That's the main difference compared to round number seven, where we saw Chiefs successfully defend this, is Worthy was playing the Vigil, and it was a significant delay on the room clear. It was about minute 30 by the time he actually dropped back to site where Wildcard had full control. They're still being very thorough, so I'm not sure whether somebody sold the candy early, so to speak, from Chiefs about that roam. But regardless, they have brought the extra wall denial in this instance, so maybe Digital just looking to hard focus his electric claws on the hatches, and were they just going to use the charges on the church wall, for example. Let's wait and see. Reload. What the uh, what the setup is actually like from Worthy, because knowing full well there is a good chance there. Now that is not currently electric cord, so maybe Vinny was able to spot it on the early uh, on the earlier hole from Silex. I couldn't imagine it's even possible to get a, a line on that, so maybe they've opted not to even uh, indicate for that. However, still two C4s in the pocket here for Chiefs. Wildcard will just need to step with caution, but once again, making really good timing on that second floor. 
That's two of the main hatches open, and now it's going to make Worthy just think twice before taking an engagement. Attackers have dropped the bomb diffuser. Yeah, this is Attackers a lot better from Wildcard this time around on this attack. I feel, like, I feel like they've got themselves in a good position here where they could snag this one from Chiefs, and that would equalize the scorecard. So with 30 seconds to go, they've got this kitchen hatch open. They're three players stacked in kitchen right now. I feel like Ooh. that's where they want to go. Diffuser's actually bottom of main, and now they find the opening pick. Geo, that is quite a large pick at that. That was one of the C4s that were remaining on Chiefs here. Pat's going to go deep to go for the plant. They're going to try to hold the vertical lines, but Chiefs are finding the picks. That's three quick ones. Emo Rin fighting back with a double kill. And now Silex has to try to reclaim that diffuser, but fast in the cheekiest of positions. And that was a bit of a dogfight on site there. It did get that way. Uh, but look, that was a, a good rise to the occasion from the Chiefs, I would say. Wildcard had set themselves up in a pretty good position, and then they snuck the diffuser through from main stairs, but didn't quite see which crucial gunfight they lost. I feel like it must have been the hatch player first, or something to that regard, because that did allow Chiefs that penetration to end, end up denying plant. Uh, but look, match point now to Chiefs, two round buffer at that, but these are the sites that are yet to be won by the defense this entire map. Wildcard yep. didn't win Cash CC Ooh. or Gym Bedroom. At the moment, Chiefs haven't won those sites either. Oh, really? Okay, two big adaptations to the roster here. The smoke that's been picked every single time for Chiefs has been swapped out for the mirror, and the IQ is no more. So this is the first time the IQ will not be brought on Wildcard's attack, and instead, they're leaning in to the boy with the smokes and the flames. Capital. So I'm really intrigued now. How vast does this change the uh, different attack and defense styles? And where is Fisho? I mean, like, surely we know where Fisho is putting most of those, at least one of the mirror. I feel like one on one side of the bathroom, one exactly where he is right now, just off the little cabinet of logistics. Could do. Uh, you know, we, we've been seeing it this whole half where Chiefs have been doing pretty active six picks where they're trying to, to force Wildcard to reading <laughs> what site they're going on. I love this from Fisher Guy because this is actually going to slow down the Taker Candles wall pretty significantly. Um, but on the baiting thing, you know, Vinny did finally go to Capital. Gotta say, Capital is most effective for attacking CCTV cache because you can use those uh, firebolts to clear out rafters with some some more simplicity than otherwise. So not having that is uh, going to be a bit tricky. And oh yeah, I thought Worthy was going to die just then. <laughs> I was so sure yeah. he was going to get caught. That early placement of the drone nearly catching him off, but gets away in time. Now they don't actually have that shield on the uh, top of red. So fighting, if they decide to, fighting the top of CCTV is going to be a little bit awkward here. However, look how much time's been stunted already. Vinny's going to use that secondary hard breach device to create somewhat of an angle from the back of Garage. And this is where we saw it really crumble last time for Chiefs. It was on those swings from Emo Rin. So maybe repeating history, but I love this from Chiefs. I really love this early call, Raven. They have completely backed away from that fight, and they're now going to bunker down on the west side of the map. Yeah, I mean, their strat just hasn't enabled them to be able to hang around, but regardless, the time burn's there. So I agree. I think this is a great call for them to pull back. They've kept all five players up alive. None of them have lost HP either, so 90 seconds is what Wildcard are tasked with to continue to push this defense back. And Chiefs can start to just hold their positions tight and put this pressure into Wildcard. Potentially they could get this map Ooh. off this round. Was that a, a C4 from Worthy underneath coming up from Bar? It looks like it might have been trying to catch Geo, but it doesn't do so. This is really awkward right now for Wildcard's timing. Fisher guy's being oh. pulled back and BANG! There goes two early picks and may have just crumbled Wildcard Raven. They're sitting on match point. This is going to be an owl and the first W for Chiefs. My goodness. Feels that way, but you never know. Ima, Rin, and Vinny have been stepping up for Wildcard so far. Silex has found Worthy, so he has brought that back to be closer. There's still 40 seconds here, Manic. Certainly still winnable for Wildcard. And it's just down to these players that have been having this impact. Step up once again to keep them in this match. 
Oh, but fallen back from that more aggressive logistics control. But really like the placement of this Goyo shield. It's going to burn even more time. In comes a C4. Does he back away in time? Vinny coming around the corner. He'll find the pick. And now the Goyo shield is all that stands in between Wildcard and pushing a little bit more aggressive. Can he hit the shot? No, he can't. He's going to go ahead and swing at the top of main. Digital plays massively. And all of a sudden, Emo Rin is all that remains of three piece to close it out and give Chiefs their very warm welcome into the Rainbow Six community. Warm welcome indeed and what a way to come in with a big dub. 7-4 on Clubhouse against Wildcard is definitely nothing to sneeze at considering they've also been coming back into some form and Sarks, you know, he actually played pretty well for Wildcard tonight I felt. So this is a big win for the Chiefs and certainly going to lift their confidence for Apex South. And well received at that, I mean, <laughs> finally we see Digital step up into the man he can be. <laughs> it takes until the last round to find himself a three-piece, but I do love that. I do love to see that, and it really, like you said, it puts them in great stead. This is now the halfway mark for Chiefs, uh, and taking the three points is massive. And you're not going to take